through and we talked about images, you have to figure out where you are going to push this image out. And we're going to use WDS. The machine's going to go in there and deploy the image to the particular client. There's a computer image. It wades in there and then woo, it boots up and has this great operating system. Well, in order for us to deploy it to a particular machine, we have to know about this machine. And this is done by putting in a GUID, a globally unique identifier. Raise your hands, <laughs> or better yet, chat in, if you know what your GUID is on your machine. Yeah, nobody's chatting in. I have no idea what my GUID is on my machine. Sometimes they will print it in the documentation. Sometimes they will put it on a sticker. Sometimes, most of the time, you have no idea what your GUID is. So how do you pre-stage a machine if you don't know the GUID? Well, let me show you. And this is in documentation, but you got to dig for it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go back into Active Directory User Computers, and I am going to create a machine in the Game Developers Organizational Unit. Have it already pre-positioned. In fact, I'm going to make a new OU in here. And in this new OU, I'm going to call it Game Developers Computers. So we'll say Game, D-E-V-E-L-O-P-E-R-S, C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R-S, and I could have put spaces in there and all that. And in here, I'm going to create a brand new computer. And this computer's name is going to be Game Dev 01. And we have it all in there. What user or group is allowed to go in here, we'll say domain admins can do that. I can assign it to a pre-Windows 2000 machine, but I don't want to. This is a managed machine. That means it is pre-staged. Now, I can go in and look in the BIOS and find what your GUID is. But there's an easier way to do this. And what you do is you find out what the MAC address on the machine is. You can do an IP config slash all. Or if you look in the documentation, they'll have the MAC address. A lot of times they'll have the MAC address uh, typed on the uh, network adapter, you know, whatever. But MAC address is a lot easier to locate than a GUID. So I'm going to type in a MAC address. We'll say it is going to be F04DA2. Five A, and by the way, these MAC addresses are not case sensitive. And if you do an IP config slash all, they'll put hyphens in between the blocks. Don't type the hyphens in; you don't want that. And then we'll say eight A F two. But notice I can't go in and click next. It's grayed out. Oh no, because goods are very very long. So the way that you get this to work is you go in and you put zeros in front. Zero, 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 zero. How many? You put enough in until the next button works. Bum, 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 bum. There it is. That many zeros. How many? I didn't count. <laughs> you just pat it with zeros. So now when the machine comes up and it says, this is my MAC address, and it goes up to a DNS, and it pulls down the IP address of the domain controller. It contacts the domain controller. The domain controller will say, well, wait a minute. Your MAC address is listed as a managed machine. And since it's listed as a managed machine, we are going to automatically call you the name. Oh, it's already, I've done this demo before. <laughs> it's already in there. So let me change it. Instead of dot two, I'll change this to a dot one. So I'll say next. And then it's going to say, all right. Since we know who you are because of your MAC address, we're going to send you to a particular WDS server. Now, here they call it Remote Installation Server. That's because Active Directory doesn't know it's now called WDS, even though we're running 2008R2. So we'll say any available, or I can specify a particular WDS server like DC, DC1R2. So I'll say OK. And then I'll say Next, and then Finish. And now if this machine happens to boot up and need an operating system, it will be shoved over to our DC1R2, which is this guy right here. And then we can go in and we can say, all right, um, I want to be able to give you the image. And it'll list them out. But depending upon what user account I'm using to log on, it'll know, oh, you're in games development, even though we know your machine's in games development because it's in that OU. We will show you the images associated with games development, which we've done with web servers. And then you can go ahead and pull those images down. Even though I have other images, sorry, you can't get them.